Hello and welcome once again. I am Anawiltos and today we're doing another episode of GeoGuessr. So let's see if we can take a good nice look. And previously I had some advice in the comments that instead of clicking these buttons, it is actually a bit more efficient to actually click on the ground, presumably where the arrow is on the ground. Okay, so anyway, let's take a look at our surroundings. Uh, the terrain is slightly hilly. The road has a railing on it. It seems to be someplace probably in the Northern Hemisphere, There's, but uh, I wouldn't say that 100% because there are some places in the Southern Hemisphere that look a bit like this. So let's see if we can take a look at this. 100 meters and is that a Cyrillic script? By the looks of it, it does look like it is Cyrillic. So this is definitely in a temperate country that uses Cyrillic language. Uh, the one problem I'm having here is where exactly is this? Okay, so let's take a look at the cars. That's not going to tell me much. I'm not so much an expert on automobiles as some others are. Uh, let's see if we can... Come on. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Oh, well. I guess I'll have to use the zoom button. Or I can just use the mouse wheel. Okay, these men are dressed in what looks like mm, some sort of camouflage. That might not be the most helpful thing. Let me see if I can find a street sign. That might give me a hint as to what we're looking at. Hmm. I need to find an intersection of sorts. Or a flag. Uh, this looks to be somebody's driveway, perhaps. But they are on the metric system, so this is probably not in the United States. Uh, in addition, the Cyrillic script tells me that as well. This is not Poland, because Poland uses a Latin script rather than Cyrillic. These street signs might help me if I can. Ah, they only use symbols. So what I'm looking for is a sign that tells me maybe a street name or a town name, because that would really help. Okay. Because... I'd, I might be able to then decipher what language it is. Now, of course, I'm not 100% on the pronunciation of Cyrillic words. Did I go past it? Yeah, I went past it. Let's go back there. Okay, and let's take a zoom. Yeah, I don't think that that is too heavily descriptive. So the real issue that I'm having here is, of course, uh, Russian and Ukrainian are very similar languages. So unless I had any experience in those languages, which I don't, I probably would not be able to tell them apart. On the other hand, Serbian is definitely a different language, but I forget if Serbia uses the Cyrillic alphabet. Let's actually have a check on the map. Uh, to see whether the map names, okay, indeed, oh, that symbol, is that used in all forms of Cyrillic or just in this form? I think I've seen it other places as well. So for all I know, this could be Serbia. Let me go back into the area because it looks like 
it was more populated. Come on. And that would ideally give me a good clue as to where I am here. Okay. Just going. Now the hilly terrain. I know that there are some hills in uh, the in Ukraine, Belarus, and Russia, but I haven't seen any mountains, and mountains would be an indication that this is likely to be the Balkans. But it's one of those things where I can't really be sure until I have more information. Because the climate looks like it could be Serbia. Okay, let's, let's go into this uh, more urbanized area. Come on. Come on, lads. Of course, there are parts of Russia that look a bit like this as well. So let's take a peek over here. Okay, it doesn't look like Google Maps has, well, the um, Google Street View exists for that specific segment. 136. Hmm. So I, I am really wondering here because this is quite a difficult one for me. Let's let's take a look here. Now, of course, if I were to find this on the map, that would be really helpful. But by the looks of it, this is a pretty small town. Uh, since I just uh, went from one end to the other real quick here. So, I'm not ruling out that it could be here in Serbia. But it could also be over here somewhere. Oh, well, let's YOLO it. This is probably going to be my worst guess of all time. But let's let's take a look. Oh, well, could have been worse. So, yeah, it was in Russia. But I, I didn't really have any distinguishing factor. Now, of course, if you noticed a clue that I missed, then please do tell me. Okay, this next round, hopefully it's a good run. Oh, we're inside a building. Uh, immediately, let's take a look. Live show. English, which means it could be anywhere in the entire world. So ideally, I'd want to get outside of this building somehow. Hmm. But the culture, it looks like it might not be an English culture. Perhaps in India? Somewhere? can't go out the door, but I'm going to guess that this is somewhere in India, seeing as India was a former British, uh, the Empire of India, which was ruled by the Brits. I'm going to guess that this is India. I don't really have any specifics on where in India, but let's just YOLO it. Here we go. Okay. Uh, looks like it was in Punjab. Okay, next round. A uh, small car. Mountainous terrain. 
or heavily hilly, depending on what the altitude is. There's a seaside or a lakeside or a very large river. Um, immediately, I'm not seeing any flags, which is something that I would like to see. But what I need to see, actually, I'm going to have to check. Let's take a look. Uh, that's not helping. I need to check to see if I can see any street signs on the highway. Oh, looks like there's one here. Uh, uh, come on. It's really not letting me do that. Oh, well. I guess I'm just going to have to use this old method. I need to get past that sign. It, even if it's a commercial sign, it might still be helpful. There we go. I think we should be past it now. Okay. Hmm. An umlaut on the O. But that's definitely not German. 100%. Because, uh, fun fact, I actually know German. So, that is definitely not German. But whatever languages use umlaut, I think... Turkey does. Do they use lines above G's and a little bit under VS? Uh, they use a little bit under VS. Um, now I'm looking for a line above a G somewhere. So that I can... Oh, there's a line above a G. Turkey has the correct alphabet for this. Kutez Kavsag. I don't know how to pronounce Turkish, to be honest. Uh, let's see if I can get, find it, because I have no idea where this place is. Uh, hopefully, it's big enough to show up on a map that's zoomed in this far. Okay, yeah, Greek isn't like that. Uh, Bulgarian isn't like that. So this is probably somewhere in Turkey. Uh, if I've missed it and it was on the map, then I really apologize because I haven't seen it. But I'm just having a quick look, nevertheless. Yep, that's G Georgia and Armenia, both very different. Iraq and Syria. Wait, no, that's Iran. Yeah. Iran and Iraq and Syria use a different type of script as well. Now the question is, what type of script is used in uh, these areas of Asia? Okay, it doesn't look like they have a similar nuance. Uh, well, they don't use these symbols. So I'm guessing somewhere in Turkey. I don't know Tur the Turkish geography well enough to tell exactly where it is, though. So, okay. It was close to the coast, and you would have had to zoom in I think slightly farther than I did maybe or maybe it was yeah slightly farther than I did and I may have seen it okay next round oh there is a staircase a vehicle round lamps that doesn't tell me much a dotted line for the edge of a road and a solid line in the middle of a road. This is probably not the United States because I drive in the United States and their roads aren't like that. Uh, okay. Now let's see if I can find anything to read because that's really 
that really is what is going to help me here. Okay, I need to get on this side of a sign. Okay, no lettering on the sign. Fair enough. I need to, oh, what was that? Is that a sign? Let's take a look. Brez Bova, huh? Hmm. This is not Italian. I can tell you that. I think it's some sort of romance language of sorts. Let's take a look at the other sign. Etalondes do. Uh huh. So the question I'm having here is what language is this? It, this is not Spanish either. Uh, let's let's take a look. This um, I don't know French well enough to to tell whether this is French. Uh, let's take a look back toward this side of the sign again to see if we get a hint in the name of something. So this is obviously a town probably on a river called the Bresle or, or something like that. So I'm thinking, hmm, let me take a look at, I don't know Portuguese very well, so I'm just going to take a quick look at Portuguese town names. Uh, yeah, this is not Portuguese. So this is probably a French language. I don't know French well enough to tell whether th this is uh, the French, the, the general language known as French, or um, a more localized variant. Yeah, that is the, definitely fits in with the syntax of uh, French place names. So the real question is, First of all, what river is this? And I could spend an hour looking at the map, but I'm not going to. So I'm thinking this could be in France. Uh, let, let me take a look at Corsica, place names. Uh, probably not Corsica. It, I, the climate doesn't look like it's in South America or Africa and yeah this doesn't look like it's in Africa this looks like Europe uh, I've been in France a couple of times but I don't remember what the roads look like uh, okay yeah this is definitely French now that I've seen that sign so I'm guessing this is somewhere in France Someplace in France. There we go. Let's go. Okay, it was right on the coast. Well, not right on the coast. Relatively close to the coast. But that town is so small that if I had zoomed in, I probably would not have noticed it. Wow. Anyway, let's go to the next round. Okay, immediately we're in the middle of nowhere. The climate seems to be semi-arid. I'm not seeing any palmettos, though. Um, tall grasses. These trees could indicate uh, maybe this is in the tropics. Um, uh, 
let's take a look around here. Looks like that might be an orchard of sorts or a tree nursery. Let's see if we can get close to a vehicle because that would really be helpful. Uh, there we go. And the reason I want to get close to the vehicle is to have a check at the interior of the vehicle. Hotel. YPF Hotel, two kilometers. It says hotel, so uh, probably English. Who knows? Let's see if we can travel the two kilometers to find that. Uh, okay. Let's see if that is a place name. Is that a place name? Uh, those are some big numbers. Long distance, big numbers. Uh, Parana. Santa Fe. Federal. Okay, this is probably South America. Not Africa, but South America. Um... Parana, Federal, Federal, is this Brazil? So there's Parana. But there's no accent mark. Uh, let's see if we can find a town called Parana in here. Or maybe there's a town closer to the coast. So La Plata, Santa Fe. Oh, this could be Argentina. Man, I really need a scale indicator so that I can actually measure the distances out. Parana, Santa Fe. Uh-oh, I think we're onto something. I think... We are on to something. Federal. Is Federal I mean the capital? Who knows? So we know that it is some distance away from here. Now we need to find Federal and we'll be able to perhaps make a comparison. Now I can't tell whether that's a two digit a two digit number or a three digit number. Let's see if Three-digit number. Okay, so we're much closer to Federal than we are to Parana and Santa Fe. Which means that this place here is not a good place to guess. Okay, let's, let's take a look out. Esperanza. San Javier. Uh, Rafaela, San Francisco. Oh, that's, that's interesting. San Francisco in uh, Argentina. Venado Tuerto. This federal, another name for the capital of Argentina, as in maybe federal district sort of thing? I don't know. Or maybe it's a place in Argentina. But nevertheless... I'm going to see if I can find another sign that tells me what's in the other direction. Okay, come on, lads. Let's go slightly closer. Uh, Mocoreta, 14. There's a sign over there. Let's... Do it live. Okay. We're on that old chestnut. I'm losing my orientation. I'm getting disoriented. Federal 127 Macareta Paso de los Libres. Okay. Macareta. 
So, Santa Fe and Parana are quite a distance away. Federal is much closer. Mocareta and Paso de los Libres are almost on top of wherever this is. So I'm going to check the road up here. Uh, obligado. Puerto. Uh, Rosaya de Tala. So Mocareta is something we have to look out for. Uh, hmm. Yeah. This is tough, man. I know that if I get just a couple more clues, I'll be able to find it. But my goodness. Okay, let's go over here. Uh, oh wait, what's what's that other name? Kuruzu Kwatia. That's tough. I have to check within uh, 120 kilometers of Buenos Aires, maybe? Because that's what I think Federal means. But I might be wrong. I might be terribly wrong. Or this could be in another country, and that is not Argentina. And I might be getting that seriously wrong as well. That is another possibility that I need to consider. That What if this isn't in Argentina, and I'm just looking at the place names, and I'm thinking that it's in Argentina, but it actually is not. That would be a problem. Hmm. Let's see if we can. Yeah, let's go a bit farther. Here's where the hotel comes in, comes into play. Let's back off slightly. And Federal, 127 kilometers. Paso de los Libres, 14. Caruso, Quatia is equidistant as with Federal as well. So if I find Caruso, Quatia, I or Federal. Federal, Federal. Uh, it's too hard. I just can't tell. But it's Paso de los Libros. Libres, which means there is it a mountain pass? I don't know what paso. I think paso means pass. But if it is, then. It would have to be a border pass and not a mountain pass because. I don't see. Great altitude in this area. Unless it's somewhere around here.
wait, what if these are not distance indicators, but rather signs for the road? I didn't think about that. I didn't think about that. Okay, 14. Let's find 14. 14 is right here. Paso de los Libres is on this road. La Clarita, Uba uh, uh, Cruzo Quatia, one nineteen. Okay, what was the name of the other town that was also on fourteen? So one nineteen is somehow connected and in the same direction as 127. So 127 is over here. And 114 goes in a different direction. So could this exact location be where we are right now on the map? There's a circle. Wait, no, that's not the circle. Uh, yeah, it is the circle circle and a raised highway that curves away from the circle i think we found it i think we found our most accurate one yet now, of course it isn't exactly here but i think we're close enough come on okay yeah 1.8 kilometers man that was pretty good i'd say uh, so the farthest one that we've had is the one here in India, which really we didn't have much stuff to work off of. But this one was also pretty far, but at least we got, we chose not to go to Serbia. That would have been a terrible uh, event. And Turkey got the right country on that. France, right country. Uh, so the only one that I really was confused about the country was uh, this one with uh, not knowing whether it was Serbia or Russia or another one of these countries that uses Cyrillic. But ev every time we do one of these, I get closer to knowing what it is. And this, this is so close. You have to zoom in a lot to actually get the line. Because, my goodness, I'd say pretty good. I've seen people where they think it's maybe somewhere over here and then it's in Siberia. And when you look on the big map, that is very low points. But thank you for watching. And if you have any advice or any suggestions for videos or just anything you'd like to comment or even if you'd like to contact me for whatever reason please do comment in the comment section below and if you'd like to see more videos do subscribe and also like the video if you did it sincerely enjoy it and thank you for watching i'll be seeing you all next time on ultos over and out